So are we here yet? Are we at the point where we're all going to wear the masks for the rest of our lives because the Department of Truth or Ministry of Truth or whatever it is? Let me take this off. No masks. Okay, so the haircut's the same underneath. That's kind of the joke. No more masks. I'm sorry. I'm done hiding. The left uses masks to hide. And that's what I want to talk about today. We have the left freaking out about Twitter and Elon Musk, and that's been in the news. They're mad. They're mad because they can't hide anymore. Chad Loader is being sued by a, a patriot because he put out false information. I got a phone call from a city councilwoman going, what do I do? These people are putting out false information. At this point, we need to shine the light of day on them. You saw what happened in Portland when the Republican potential mayor comes out to be like, hey, you know, where's a governor? He comes out. He wants to have a rally. And who shows up but people in all black, covered up, and throwing things, chanting things, whistles, shut them down. That is literally the epitome of fascism, is shutting down someone else's free speech. You have the, the leftists online, the Vishals and the Kellys and the, the, the Sky Spiders and all the, the, the Chad Loaders, all of them. They're all going, look at Mario, Pinochet supporter. Well, let me tell you something. Pinochet was not a bad person. He had to do some bad things to some very bad people who were doing bad things. Because if you're over there hunting people down to take their food because your country can't grow food and you've basically taken everything from everybody else and you're saying, you're growing stuff, I want your stuff, and they're saying no, you're the bad guy. I'm sorry. So when Pinochet came in and took everything back and says, nope, we're done, you people who did all these bad things, who have these bad ideas, you need to go. And we need, there's no re-educating. We, we hear about the, the, the left talking about, oh, well, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if we put the unvaccinated into like, I don't know, camps or something, prison camps. Bernie Sanders' own staff was heard saying this, and this is on Project Veritas. They openly talk about putting us into camps, re-educating us. They talk about shooting us on Twitter. This is actually words that they say. Chad Loader has actually called for the death of people on Twitter. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't really mean it. I deleted it after all. We don't do that type of stuff. We don't celebrate these things. We make fun of you. When Ruth Bader Ginsburg finally kicked the bucket, I was like, okay, time for an inappropriate joke. When Kobe Bryant kicks the bucket, time for an inappropriate joke. Betty White, okay, no, she would have given let she would have totally loved an inappropriate joke. This is the left. The left cannot handle a joke. The left cannot handle satire. Everything is so serious. And when it goes against their narrative or it hurts them in some sort of way emotionally, it hurts my feelings, all of a sudden, I want to ban that speech. I want to ban that. You can't say that. Which is exactly why we need to shine the light on these people. You want to spread lies? Please, by all means, spread lies. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to spread the truth. And we're going to show the world that you're spreading lies. And when we do that, you're no longer going to have anywhere to hide. People are going to want to listen to your lies. And this is exactly what we're seeing. People don't want to see CNN plus plus whatever. You failed in less than 90 days. It, that's a tragedy for any news media company. You have Fox Nation, which is literally a platform built on the exact same thing that you wanted to do with CNN Plus, and it failed. Legacy media, syndicated media, you're dying. And the more you publish lies about us, the faster you're going to meet your end. I cannot wait until you publish more untruths about me because this is exactly what is going to be your downfall. I love you guys all. I'll talk to you guys soon. Mwah! Bye guys!